So this is just a very short video to show you where the Moodle feedback area is. So you can, instead of going into the a feedback studio and turn it in by clicking on the little pencil, you click on the grade icon here. This takes you into the Moodle feedback area. You can see the assignment submission here. And if you scroll down, you'll have the option to grade it. You can't grade it in both uh, uh, Feedback Studio and Turnitin and here. You have to choose one or the other. Uh, and so if you put the grade here, um, that will appear on the uh, Moodle record of grades for all of the assessments. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to update. Uh, you can then write uh, general feedback comments in this box here. Um, and you can drag and drop feedback files into this area here. And so this is very uh, useful if you want to mark an assessment uh, using, for instance, uh, audio or visual uh, media for um, the grading and feedback. Um, and so you can drag and drop the file into here. So this is changing over to the student view. And so the student will see what they usually see in their assignment submission area uh, with the normal links to go through to a feedback studio uh, and see their marking and turn it in. But if you're not using that and you're uh, providing the feedback files, they have to scroll down a little bit to the Moodle feedback area and they can access their feedback file here. So usually, and uh, you see the grade up here, so usually you're going to need to provide uh, a little bit of guidance in the form of a module announcement telling them that they need to scroll down to the bottom of the screen in their assignment area when you've released the marks uh, in order to find your feedback file. And it's quite surprising how often they don't do that. So really impress upon the need to scroll down right to the bottom and they'll spot the file. 